Previously on The Potentialists. We want to know where he's from. Trying to get that swab thing into Gizzy's mouth was not easy. Oh, it's bloody. Well, now they got DNA for sure. Do you have a fly invasion in your office? It's really hard sometimes to open up and show how you've changed. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. It's really hard sometimes to open up and show how you've changed. Somebody's known you that long. It's a lot easier to be who you are now with like a complete stranger at times than your own family or somebody who you've known for that long. Friendships are kind of tricky, especially those that you've had since like first grade and kindergarten. I've known Val for about that long, and uh, I've also known our mutual friend uh, Annie for that long too. I'm going to try to at least vlog the beginning of everything. Maybe say hi to her on camera, but at least I'll be starting to break my, my own barriers. <laughs> People go through this all the time where you've been friends for so many years and then every once in a while you won't see them for a certain period of time because they got into a relationship, they found a new hobby. In our situation, we recently started up with here working at Boa World where I've really found something I'm passionate about doing. So because we've sort of shifted a bit, we've sacrificed a bit of our hanging out time. You know, we don't see each other every week like we used to. It's, you know, every couple of weeks. All right, so I made it to Starbucks. Let's see if I can achieve my mission. All right, so I'm here at Starbucks with my friend Annie, and see, look, I'm actually vlogging for like a second, and here's Annie, whose face will not be on camera, but yay, <laughs> she's waving. Val has been making an effort lately to reconnect with our friend Annie. I think it's really cool, that's what she's doing, and really, I congratulate her. I survived, and it was fun. I had a lot of fun, it was good. We actually connected for the first time in quite a while, so I'm happy. And I vlogged just a little bit. The other day I was talking to my mother-in-law's sister in Cuba. I happened to mention it to Eric and he just totally flipped on me. How can you talk to someone over the phone to Cuba? Do you know you can call people in Cuba? We thought about it, but that makes sense. Oh, it makes sense? I yeah. feel like it doesn't make sense. Why well, wouldn't it make sense? You can call people anywhere. Isn't there like an embargo or an electronic blockade or a caller ID waiting thing going on. He was like, what do you mean? You can talk to people in Cuba? And I was like, uh, yeah, they have telephones. We're not in the cave times, you know? Yeah. I don't so think you can call people in Cuba. This makes no sense. Why? Because they're communists? I don't understand. I just, I, I, I was under the impression we can't talk to the people. And he just couldn't believe that you could actually talk to somebody. Alexa said that we could talk to them. That was weird. So I was like, well, if you want me to pick up my computer, I can call her right now. <laughs> Why would you think that you couldn't call somebody in Cuba? It might be a conversation you well, had in your head. There. Of course you can go there. You can buy a ticket, get on an airplane, and go to Cuba. Huh? No, like as a missionary, like you can get an exemption. No, sir. I can go buy a ticket right now and fly my butt to Cuba. Are you an American citizen? Yes, I am. How, 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 how? Would well, you like you, me to see? Like, Hold on. We have to go through like a foreign country. You can't go from Miami to Cuba. Now there you might be correct. Okay, all right. I thought I was making this up in my head. Should we try to buy a ticket to Cuba? I think we should now. <laughs> Let's try to buy a ticket to Cuba. So can you like mail stuff to Cubans? Of course. So phones and the mail work. Just to prove to him that you could even fly to Cuba. You can't fly to Cuba either. How can you fly to Cuba? No, that makes no sense. I don't get it. Can't do it. No. Show me the proof. Cheap flights from Miami to Cuba. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't think anybody goes direct. We went online to see what the next flight to Cuba was. And yes, you can fly to Cuba. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't do that, which is why it makes sense you couldn't call them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of grasping at straws here. Okay, it might be possible to go to Cuba. Not direct right now, but you can fly to Cuba anytime you want. I hear it's beautiful. Networking is... <laughs> it has a negative connotation, right? Any way you want to talk about it has a negative connotation. If you're talking about computers, you're talking about people, it just doesn't sound like fun. It actually kind of is. Um, little by little, Bert and Alex have been forcing me to go out there a little bit more. They've informed me that 
I'm slightly good at it and they want to foster that in me. I don't like to talk to people, so they're forcing me in front of people. It's fun. I'm not Paul. Oh, hello. Oh Tony, this is Valerie. Valerie, it's a pleasure to meet you. It was cool to get out from behind the computer for a bit since I've been s stuck in webland lately. We have a lot of good things to talk about today. I've been doing events for 25 years here in South Florida. My goal is once a month to bring them together and to introduce them to each other. On the way there, Alex dropped this bomb on me. She was like, by the way, everybody's gonna have like about a minute to speak about each company. We had a, an arrangement. I, we really had an arrangement. So I'm gonna talk about seminars. You talk about the reality show. And I was like, what? I was supposed to talk about one thing and she was gonna talk about something else. Then we get there and they took a business card from everybody and then they were doing the talk by just basically grabbing a business card, calling the person up to the front of this podium. Melody, would you come up please? They only had one Boho World card. I was really excited because they called it. Alex went up. Yes, I'm free. My name is Alexa and I'm with Boho World. We're an international sales and training organization. And she thought when I got called up, you know, at the last minute, she thought she was gonna get out of it, so I just kind of looked at her and I said, oh, 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 oh. Back here, we have Valerie Alligator. If you wanna get a card from her, and she'll tell you all about our next project that we're working on. It's fantastic. Come on, Valerie. <laughs> Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Boa World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Boa World. Feel me?